Hi, I'm Georgie, and this is The Scoop on decoding my cat's weirdest habits. Oh, yep, there's catnip on my pants right now. Honestly, it was the only way to get him to sit in my lap for more than a minute. So I'm a super new cat mom. I've had Beans here for six months. Um, you guys might have seen the episode where we adopted him. It was very wonderful. And I didn't have cats growing up, so I'm new to all these catisms, which is why I was getting a little curious about all the weird he does. And then I found out that it turns out these are all like pretty normal catisms. So, anyways, uh, this cat is now the love of my life, and I want to know why he does the things the way he does. And I bet you fellow cat parents out there do too. We're all in back to school mode anyway, so think of this as your like cat parent 101 class, where your teacher has no qualifications and no idea what they're doing, but they're pretty good at research. Thanks, internet. So here's what we're gonna go over that Beans does that maybe a lot of your cats do too. Why my cat puts his toys into his food and water bowls? Why does my cat insist on sleeping on top of my head every night? Why does my cat knead, like kneading dough, like he's a master bread maker? Why does my cat try to bury his food only sometimes, like he's trying to cover it? Why does my cat feel the need to knock everything over all the time? And bonus question that full disclosure, I don't have an answer for and I wanna hear what you guys think. Why does my cat always, always have to stick his head into a glass of water whenever it's available? So those are the things we're gonna go over and now here's all the answers. So why does my cat put his toys in his water bowl specifically occasionally his food bowl. From what I've read, it turns out cats just want to hide their toys somewhere they think is safe and they think that where their food is, is the safest spot. Also, that they like to play with their prey, like he's like drowning it, which is kind of terrifying, but also adorable. Why are cats so equally terrifying and adorable? Let me know in the comments. Two, why does my cat insist on sleeping on top of my head? Oh, I love this answer. Turns out cats are super vulnerable when they sleep, so if they're sleeping on top of your head or like near you, it means they trust you, and they also wanna be near you because they love human body heat. So basically, it indicates that he trusts me and loves me, and it's a good way for him to bond with me without actually having to deal with me. Just like every other boyfriend. Ooh, fun one. Why do cats need all the time. First of all, it's a thing that they do with their mothers because when they need the mammary glands, it produces more milk. So as kittens, that's like an instinct they have, but it also produces like a calming, soothing effect for them as well. So that's why they need their beds or you or pretty much any surface they decide they wanna need. Why my cat tries to like bury his food sometimes, not all the time, just sometimes, he likes to like bury his food after he's eaten a little bit of it. So if your cat tries to bury their food without eating it, it turns out it might be them being like, ew, no thank you. That might be what they're saying, I don't like my food. But with my cat, he'll eat a little bit and then he'll try to bury it, which I thought was like, how adorable he's trying to save it for later or something, but that's not what it is. It turns out in the wild, Cats will try to bury their food because they don't want predators to smell them and they don't want predators to like find their area. So they bury their food. Cats are baby geniuses, no big deal. Why does my cat feel the need to knock everything over? So this one has a few different theories. One of them is that cats want to touch things because it might be a mouse, it might be a prey. And like we said earlier, they like to play with their food. So they might be patting something to see if it'll like move and give them a chase. That's one reason they knock things over. Second reason is they're just bored and their paws are the way that they sort of like experience things. So they might just be pushing things over to like, give it a go, give it a feel. I don't know what the human equivalent of that is. I guess maybe Googling at three in the morning, who really killed John Benet Ramsey? <laughs> no, just me. But the one that I think is pretty good is that they know that if they knock something over, it's gonna get your attention. So once they realize you come running every time they knock something over, every time they want your attention, they're gonna knock something over knowing that you're gonna come running. So, pro tip, apparently the best thing to do if your cat's knocking something over is to totally ignore them. But like obviously you have to go running if it's a glass thing that just broke, which I've had to do about 17 times since I had my cat in six months, so I don't know how sound that advice is. 
And last but not least, number six, which I didn't really find a very satisfying answer for, so I wanna hear what you guys think. Why is it that every time there is a vacant, full glass of water sitting on a surface, my cat will go and stick his head in it? And I'm gonna prove it to you guys right now by going and getting a glass of water, putting it right here, walking away, and letting you witness that this happens every time, 100% of the time. I know that cats are fascinated with water, but I know it's more of like a running water thing, like he loves going into the shower after we get out, he loves running to the sink when it's running. I don't know what his whole thing of sticking his head in water glasses is. Like, I don't get it, I don't know, maybe one of you guys know, so I want to hear your thoughts on that one. And all of the others that we've talked over in the comments below. Do you agree with some of this stuff? Did you know all this stuff? Did you not know some of this? Do you have other theories? Let me know in the comments below. And please like and subscribe to All Things The Pet Collective. Once again, I'm Georgie. Beans is somewhere because he's a cat. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time on The Scoop. Yeah, I told you.